In some of my other Home Assistant videos, I quite often tell you to make sure that you have Hacks installed, which is kind of like a third party app store for Home Assistant that lets you install all sorts of additional features and integrations that are not included with Home Assistant by default. But what I don't tell you is how you actually go about installing it. Well, this video is going to show you exactly how to do that. I'm going to show you this process using the supervised version of Home Assistant, which is likely to be the version you are using if you're watching this video. That's the version with the add-on store if you're not certain. If you're using a containerized version of Home Assistant in Docker or have installed it in some different way, then you'll need to make sure that you can SSH to your Home Assistant installation and run the installation script that way instead of using the SSH add-on method that I'm about to show you. And then you can carry on with the rest of the process from that point. Anyway, on with the installation. In Home Assistant, start by turning on Advanced Mode by clicking on your profile name, scrolling down to the Advanced Mode toggle and toggling it on. Now navigate to Settings and Add-ons and click on the blue Add-on Store button in the bottom right. You want to search for Terminal and SSH from the Official Add-on section. Click on Install to start the installation and wait for a few minutes for it to finish installing. Once it's finished installing, click on Start and wait a few more seconds for it to actually run and then click on the Open Web UI button. That should drop you into a nice terminal window like this. In that terminal window, you need to type the following command and press Enter. That kicks off the installation process, which is very quick. Once completed, you need to restart Home Assistant by navigating to Developer Tools and clicking on Restart and then the other Restart button. Once restarted, we need to configure it. Navigate to Settings, Devices and Services, click on the Add Integration button and search for Hacks. You need to tick all of the buttons to accept the disclaimers and then click on Submit. It'll then ask you to authorize your device against GitHub. Do not click on the submit button yet, but instead copy the authorization key to your clipboard and click on the link to GitHub. If you don't have a GitHub account, then it may prompt you to sign up first. Paste the activation code into the boxes and click on continue. It'll ask you to authorize hacks and once it says congratulations, you can close this window. The integration should now be giving you a success message uh, that they've found hacks. So just click on finish to, um, well, finish it off. If all went well, you should see a new menu on the left hand side called hacks. And if you click on that, open it up, it's all there and ready to go. And that's it, really simple. And you only need to do it the once to open up a whole world of easy to install custom components from fancy dashboard cards through to full integration supporting even the most obscure smart products. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful and if you did, then please click on the like button and please subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching, goodbye.